All right, guys, we're here at Last Fit again, and we got this 2019 Ram 1500 Bighorn. And we're going to be replacing the fog light bulbs today. So they're going to be the ones right here. They're going to be the H11s. And we're going to replace those with our Last Fit LD switchbacks. So if you might have seen them before, they have four functions currently. They have the 6K white, they have the halogen, halogen yellow. They have the golden yellow, or some people like to refer as the JDM yellow. And then it has a flashing uh, SOS function as well. So we're gonna show you how to replace this. They're very easy to do. There's only three eight millimeter bolts that hold this in place. And I'll show you how to do that. You're gonna need a short wrench or whatever you feel comfortable using. Just make sure you got an eight millimeter with that. And we'll show you right now how to get this replaced. All right, guys, so to get this done, you're gonna need a ratchet where they got an eight millimeter with that, an extension to help you out. Uh, this vehicle has been raised, so this is not the stock height. So it makes it much easier for me to work with. But even then, you should be able to work with it with no issues. But if you wanna get yourself some more clearance, I recommend make your wheel go inwards and like that you have more space to work with. But they really did a good job on how to set this up. If you wanna go around me so you can get a better view. Um, Pretty much they actually separated by, by two actual layers. So the top layer is gonna be the one that allows you to reach your actual headlight uh, bulbs and everything. And then there's another layer in the bottom that goes straight just for the fog lights, okay? So let me put this to the side for now and let me get some light for you just so you can get a better, better look at what I'm talking about. And what you're gonna be doing, you're literally just gonna take off one, two, three. They're eight millimeters bolts, which you're gonna be using this. I already took off two and I left this one hand tightened. So you can just twist that off. Okay. And we're gonna put this to the side for now. And like I was talking, this is two layers, so they're actually separated. They're not one piece like before. So you can literally just put just the one section you need and you have all that space in there to work with, okay? So you can see that as soon as you pull this, your fog light, it is right there. This is that one with the green uh, painting in the back. That's your H11, okay? So to get this out, there's actually a red clip on it. Hopefully you can see that right there. To get the actual bulb, you wanna unclip this first. So you wanna unlock it, get a little flat hit, push it to the back like that. So hopefully you can, let me, let me try to get you the best lighting possible so you get an idea of this. All right, perfect. So that, that red clip right here, it can actually slide up and down. So you wanna make sure that you slide it up before you try to disconnect it or else it won't let you, so. Unfortunately for me, my nails are not long enough to get in there, so I use the flat hit just to slide it up. It doesn't require too much uh, prying. It'll go up really easy. Just aim correctly at it. Okay. And just like that, I pushed it back, as you can see again. Okay. And then at this point, you should be able to just pull the bulb out. Just like that, okay? So it has this little locking mechanism on it that if you just try to pull it out like that, you'll never get it out and you have a high chance of breaking your actual plug or your bulb. So make sure that you remember to pull back that lock so you can get it out, okay? So at that point, you're good to go. You get your new bulbs. We're gonna be using the LD switchback H11s, okay? And Gonna put that ready, make sure that they're uh, locked. Sometimes they'll come disconnected, so you just make sure you lock them before you actually put them in. You don't want them to fall apart while you're driving. There's also a positive and negative indicator on them, so you know which side you should connect it at, okay? For this vehicle, it's color-coded, so you actually got a, a black and yellow connect cable. So the yellow is gonna be your power and the black cable is gonna be your negative, okay? Or your ground. So make sure you match that to the positive negative symbols and you're good to go. So I'm gonna do that right now. Also, once you have it connected, make sure you slide back your lock so it doesn't come undone, okay? So once it's locked, it's not coming off and you install your new bulb. Okay. 
perfect. So and just like that. As you see, it's connected. What I recommend doing now to make sure this is secure, get some zip ties, find a location where you can hook this part of the actual driver. You can just slide it through here and tie it onto something where it won't get, away, it won't get in the way of other stuff and just hang it from there and you'll be done. And that also prevents it from this just rattling all over the place. So you'll be doing the same procedure on the driver's side. And what we're gonna do right now, just real quick, we're gonna close this up and do a quick comparison between the stock collagen bulb and the actual new LDH11. All right guys, so real quick, just to show you the comparison, we got the stock collagen on the driver's side and we got the LD switchback on the passenger. And as I turn off the light and turn it back on, it starts to switch colors as you can see. So I'll cycle through them one more time. Default, it'll be white, which is gonna be the 6K. And then it'll switch to the halogen color, which is around like a 4,500 to a 5,000 area right there. And then you go to the actual golden yellow or what some people like to call the JDM yellow. And then we got our flasher. So guys, that's pretty much a quick comparison of them. So we'll finish up this, this truck and show you how it looks with both of the LEDs on, okay? All right guys, so we just completed the installation. So I'm gonna light them up for you. There you go. So we got the new LDH11s installed. These are the switchbacks. We have them start off by default at 6000K, which is the hyper white we got right now. And then if you shut off the fog light and turn it back on, it'll give you the next color, which is the halogen color. And then if we do it again, we'll get the JDM yellow or the golden yellow. And if we do it one more time, we get the SOS function. So we'll switch it back to the default fog light. So it'll be pure white. And as you can see, you're gonna get a lot more visibility from these. I'm gonna switch them real quick just so you can see how they all look like when cycled. So that's it guys, that's pretty much it. So if you guys have any questions, concerns, feel free to let us know and we'll have, we're will we more than happy to help you out. And again guys, thank you for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.